Hello, and welcome to the System Strategy Review, Approval, and Implementation Demo. My name is Mark Sinizic, and I'm the Product Manager for the APM Strategy Product Line. In this demo, we'll be taking a look at the newly redesigned System Strategy component within the Asset Strategy Management Module. This redesign has helped us implement some really nice features that will help customers be much more efficient with again, the review and the approval and the implementation of the individual asset strategies that are encompassed within a system. So this obviously is going to make our users much more efficient and we'll be able to get to the value much more quickly. So in this example, I'm going to show how we can review and uh, the impact of the changes that have been proposed at a macro level across strategies. And we're going to show the review and approval process and how we can expedite that through both changes. And then we're going to look at how we have instantiated the ability to implement those actions directly within the system without having to go elsewhere in the product. In this example, I'm going to open up an existing system strategy. It's this FCC overhead strategy. And the first screen that we see gives us a quick summary of any changes that have been proposed. So when we talk about being able to compare the active strategy versus the proposed strategy, here's where we're really doing an assessment of the what-if scenarios in terms of impact on our overall risk profile and our overall cost projection. We also quantify the degree to which cost has either increased or decreased or the risk has either increased or decreased across the population as a whole. So when I look at each individual bar in this graph, these represent an individual asset strategy at a macro level, they're rolled up. And the costs are also rolled up and projected out for our five-year projection. So this helps me as a user, if I'm responsible for reviewing and approving changes to strategies, this is the first place I'm going to go to see what the ultimate impact on my overall cost and risk profile is going to be. When I want to dig in to look at the details or even take action on those changes that have been made, I go to the Manage tab. And here I can see that we've got 14 different individual asset strategies that make up this particular system. I can see the name of these strategies, in essence, the assets. I can see what state the strategy is in. I can see when it was last updated and where I have strategies that have been modified, either in a modified state or in a pending review state. I also have the ability to go in and quickly review the changes that have been made. I can do that strategy by strategy level. So I can see each row has an indication of changes that have been made. And I can go in and simply open that up to see in this example. A strategy changes have been made to relax intervals on some of the actions associated with this strategy. And in this example, we see that we've changed one from 50 weeks to two years. We've seen on another action, we've changed from 12 months to 24 months, one year to two years. And we can see the overall impact on ROI as well as annual cost. And that allows me as a reviewer to quickly be able to go in and see what those are and what the basis was upon which they are making that uh, suggestion. The other thing I can do is go through and look at all the changes in one screen, which can also be pretty handy. So I can see that I had my four strategies that had changes in them. If I open up and look at those, I can see what the individual changes were to and from for each one of the fields that had been changed. And so a really nice quick way to go in and evaluate changes on a strategy and to review the recommendations and the basis for those recommendations. Once I've reviewed the impact of the changes on risk and cost, as well as the details around each of the proposed changes, now I can take action in terms of either approving or rejecting those suggested changes. And so the third workflow element that we have in this screen would be to be able to select individual strategies that are in a particular state. In this case, I'm going to select all the pending review items, and I could certainly filter down 
to make this easier. If I had a bunch of different strategies, it's easy for me to just filter down and do a select all as opposed to having to go through and pick. But at this point, I'm going to go ahead and approve all these individual suggestions and asset strategies. And I'll confirm that. And we can see that this transaction is running in the background. Now we can see the transaction has been completed and the four asset strategies that were previously in a pending review state have all now been activated. The third element that I wanted to show in this demo is that previously we did not have the ability to implement individual actions directly within a system strategy. And I see a lot of value in this aspect because we could implement an individual single asset strategy or we could implement across a collection in the hierarchy through action management. But to me, if I've gone through the trouble of building a system and that represents a system that I need to go ahead and implement, it makes a lot of sense to be able to do that directly here as opposed to having to go somewhere else in the product. So I could go ahead and filter by the type of activity, the name of the activity, how often it's done, and I can make selections and go through the same implementation process that I have for any of the other areas of the product, creating calibration tasks or inspection tasks or even rounds, linking these activities to specific health indicators or policies that they're monitoring. Or if I want to send these to an EAM system, I can do that all directly within the strategy, making the user much more efficient. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was a value.